Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It's December 10th, uh, day before a USDA report. Uh, this morning, though, we had the grains quite a bit lower. Corn dropping down pretty hard, more than 10 cents lower at one point. Beans as well, down about 12 to 13, and then wheat uh, sharply lower again. But we finished six lower in corn, two and a half higher in beans. So late in the session there, beans ended up finding some strength and coming back, with wheat remaining about 11 and a half lower. Now, I think this has a lot to do, a lot of positioning here ahead of this report for tomorrow. Uh, comes out tomorrow morning at 7.30. The expectations right now for corn, looking for carryout to jump up a little bit from 6.47. The trade estimate's looking for 6.66. And that, uh, looking for a little bit more of an increase here as far as carryout numbers, and that should uh, keep some pressure here on corn. A lot of that is going to be from just lack of demand. We've seen sales uh, and uh, exports really weak over the last several weeks, and uh, we feel that uh, USDA may come up and, uh, and jump up those that carryout number just because of demand. Uh, but as far as the beans, little different story there as you can tell with two and a half higher today coming back from being in the red most of the session um, but they're expecting to see a little bit tighter ending stocks from 140 140 million down to 135 million so a little bit looking for a slight reduction there and then for wheat going from 704 704 million up to 718 so a little bearish there for wheat. So bearish for corn and wheat, maybe a little friendly in the beans. That's how we're looking at this going into it tomorrow morning. So that's going to be the main story uh, again here tonight. There's not a lot of other news out there that guys are going to hang their hat on. But uh, tomorrow morning at 730, give us a call. We'll be glad to go through those numbers with you. Looking at some of the outside markets today. The dollar down about 10 cents. Crude oil down about 25 uh, and then we have the stock market right now up about 25 points as well. So kind of a quieter day in these outside markets. Uh, not getting a lot of direction here, a lot of help uh, for the grains. But uh, we'll see how it reacts here throughout the week. Probably going to see some volatility yet. Uh, and the metals, gold up 8, silver up about 15 cents. Finding a recovery here from some of the lows that we had seen uh, last week. So a very sharp decline last week. And now we're starting this week off a little bit better. Uh, but in livestock, fat cattle right about unchanged uh, for February today. We're still expecting to see cash cattle trade uh, maybe lower here this week and maybe for the next couple weeks see this cash market uh, remain under pressure. But uh, we are expecting to see some lower cash cattle trade here this week and probably going to uh, keep some kind of uh, a cap here on any kind of rallies that we've seen. But in hogs, about $0.05 cents higher today for December not doing much this December contract going off the board on Friday. February will be the lead, uh, the lead contract then. Still cash is king, so you've got to continue watching that. We saw the cash market on Friday. Cash, uh, we've seen the Iowa-Minnesota uh, price on Friday down more than $2. Um, but here today, continue to watch that. Continue watching this wholesale pork price as well. And uh, that's probably going to lead this December. But as I mentioned with cattle. We, we're expecting to see the cash markets remain weaker for the next few weeks. We tend to do that in hogs as well. So keep an eye on that. Um, that's going to be uh, our biggest deciding factor here uh, as far as direction. Um, so we'll see what that looks like here this afternoon, but still expecting to see some lower cash trade here throughout this week. So that might mean futures prices as well. But uh, give us a call, as I mentioned, tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll be here waiting for uh, to help you out, so give us a call if, if you need us at 800-262-7538 or check us out online, allendale-inc.com. Hope you had a great day today. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. We'll see you.